I'm going to do a quick review of the Topeak MTX beam rack and the Topeak MTX trunk bag. Uh, kind of show you how, how they work together. Uh, got the Topeak MTX beam rack here. This is the E-type, uh, which is designed for a small or medium frame. Um, you know, they have three different styles depending on what size frame you have. Uh, what I like about it is it has this quick release lever system here. So this clamp mounts around your seat post. Uh, you would adjust this clamp, you know, it screws in, tighten it, and then you know, just use this quick release lever uh, with this guy on there to you know, tighten it to your seat post. Holds it really tight to it, really easy to adjust, no tools required, uh, super simple setup. Um, it comes with different size shims that come with the kit. So you have um, thicker shims or the thinner shims that I've already installed. Depending on the diameter of your seat post, it'll determine what size shims you need to install. So, you know, you have one shim with this circle pattern and one with this triangle pattern. You know, circle pattern goes on the, the beam itself and then on this hinge piece will be the triangle piece. Um, that's how you get it to fit on different diameter seat posts. Uh, it also has these built-in little uh, bungee cords here. It's really easy to adjust if you wanted to throw them over something that you were going to strap on there loose uh, if you weren't using the combination with the bag. And the way that the bag mounts uh, inside of this rail system, uh, you know, it has this dovetail pattern to it. And on the bottom, bottom of the bag here, uh, the track has the same you know, dovetail that they just um, slide in together. And then this, this clamp here uh, will lock underneath this bar and holds it in securely, really easy to mount. But uh, the bag itself, this one is the DX model. Um, it has a much larger uh, side pocket here than the EX model. And, uh, you know, overall, it's it's perfect for what I'm using it for. You know, I wanted to get a bag that would hold all my trail tools, you know, when we're doing trail maintenance. You know, things like our sawzaws, impacts, extra batteries, stuff like that. So I'm going to take all this gear here, load up the bag, and uh, show you what it looks like with everything mounted in there. So here's the bag pretty much loaded up. Uh, you know, on this, this outer pocket here, enough room for the phone, you know, wallet keys. Fits nice and easy. Still plenty of room in there to add extra things. Uh, it's a good pocket. Just keep your uh, stuff out of your shorts or your jeans. Throw them in this one. Uh, pocket over here. I got uh, all my saw blades in this little carrying case, which is uh, about 10 inches long or so. So fits easily in this pocket. I have the shoulder strap in there for now as well. Uh, fits in there perfectly, you know, closes, zips up, no problem, not easy to do one-handed. Um, the main compartment here, I have all three batteries. I got my impact, I got a couple boxes of screws hidden underneath here, and you know, fits in there easily. Um, got the water bottle, snug in a little water bottle pocket, um, cover goes on, luckily I'm able to zip that guy up one-handed. And then, you know, if I wanted to uh, expand this top pocket here, I'm able to do that one handed. That's how much more carrying capacity you would have. So you could really, even with all that stuff in there, you know, I could throw in a, a folded up sweater or, you know, maybe a little vest or something like that. Something simple that would, you know, fit in there puffy. And then, uh, you, just, you know, got the mesh pocket with the bungee strap. And, uh, you know, I'll mount the sawzall on there with the straps and show you what guys what it looks like on the bike. So the rack's capacity is rated at 20 pounds. Just trying to see what the entire gear here weighs. It says 16.1. Uh, That's fully loaded with all the tools, all the batteries. So I still have a little uh, little weight to spare there. Uh, so here I got the, the rack and the bag mounted to the bike. Uh, this is a Salsa uh, Mukluk Dior 11. It's the 2021 model, and it's a frame size large. I got the bag mounted to the rack already. It's fully loaded. I got all the batteries, um, 
the impact, boxes of screws, my saw is all mounted to it. I do have one hack that I've done uh, to this mesh pocket here. I cut a little uh, piece of cardboard as like a sleeve to put in there. Um, when I was first trying to mount the Sawzall in there, the Sawzall has like some uh, teeth on the guard that when I would pull it out of the pocket, would get snagged in these little holes. So just putting a little piece of cardboard in there stopped it from grabbing in these mesh holes and it slides in and out real easy. Um, to mount it, you know, in front of it's here in the mesh pocket. Uh, this little pull cord bungee guy, you know, works really good, keeps enough tension on it. Uh, but I also bought some of these adjustable rubber straps. Uh, I mounted one across the actual uh, bag carrying handle. Uh, keeps it really tight there. And then the second one I've mounted around the back of the handle of the Sawzall and through the shoulder strap loop. Uh, typically, if you wanted to carry the bag with your shoulder strap, you would mount it to this little uh, little ring here. But it, it works perfectly for this setup to run another one of these rubber mounting straps through that loop to hold it securely to the bag. And, uh, you know, it's it's tied on there. It's not going anywhere. Um, the bag's super, super simple to remove from the rack. You know, it's just this push button here. You know, push it down and slide it right off. Um can't really do it one-handed while I'm holding the camera, but uh, trust me, I, it, it slides right in, right off, no problem. 